Hello, my lovely Geminis, and welcome to my channel, Salt Intuition Tarot. Y'all hit the like button and subscribe, and I appreciate y'all being here. Remember that the messages are general. This may be a confirmation of what you've already been through, so just know that or something that's going to happen in the future. Upon looking at the cards, it looks like that in order for you to feel secure in your life, and to get balance in your life, you had to let go of friendships or a love relationship. You had the devil card come up, which means Capricorn or just someone that was very toxic. And it showed the reason why they were in your life is because they felt like you needed to give them patience and understanding while they were making no effort to change their toxic life or the way that they treated people. But they wanted you in their life to bring some balance to them, which would never happen because a toxic person does toxic things. And if you allow them to do so, it, they'll just remain doing the same thing, if you know what I'm saying. All right, you also have the tower card, which means that you had to let go of situations that no longer served you. The universe is acknowledging you've been through a lot with these people, whether it be a friend or a love situation. And what does the universe want to tell you? Besides, you did a good job if you got rid of them. Stay hopeful. There is someone coming in to your life that will work as a team with you. You have the King of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Justice. But don't be so close off this person. Be very patient, okay? This person is not the toxic type. This could be a Sag or a Libra coming in. Now, I can tell you with the Libra person they will be guarded okay they're not gonna let anybody in their life really easily and with the sag they may gossip they may uh someone that talks about you okay i would say that the better suit is the libra so if you have a libra coming in your life also the star card's coming out in aquarius aquarius person you have three choices coming up for you. But as we all know, just because you have a lot of options doesn't mean that they are going to be good for you. You've got to learn the zodiacs, okay? Learn them very well because that will help you give get insight on what type of person that you're dealing with, okay? You don't want to get somebody that does not have the same as you know aspirations in life that you have the star card definitely keeps coming out aquarius stay hopeful about a situation you will be able to use discernment and expose people for their motives and intentions right now is a very uh good time this is scorpio season okay so scorpios uh, they will get to the bottom. They'll shine light on shit that we don't no longer need. And it may be hard to hear. But for some of y'all, in order for you to have your balance and happiness, you're going to have to let go of toxic situations that no longer serve you. And it will be hard. And it can upset you. You know, you put a lot of time and tension and effort and years into people, and it doesn't work out. That's traumatizing. I know. But just think of all the peace that you're going to have and independently, independence with the nine of pentacles you're going to have when you let go of those things. Good things will come to you. Uh, you know, when people see that you, you know, 
are on your feet, you're a stable person, you will attract toxic individuals. You just will. Because they want to cling off your energy and just know that they are energy vampires. And it's nothing that you've done. Don't think of it as a flaw. Don't think of it as something you have done to attract these type of people. That's just the way it works. When you are an empath and you're stable, you're going to attract people that aren't good for you in your life. It's because your light is shining. They want to be in the light. They want to. But once they get there, does it mean enough for them to change? And that's a lot of questions on people's mind. If I bring light to their life, do they not want... If I'm attracting the darkness, will it not want the light? Just know that there are so many people out there that want to be in your presence... But they don't know how to maintain the position, if you know what I'm talking about. So never think it bad on yourself if you're attracting these people that aren't good for you. That's the way it goes. You're like a magnet, okay? For some of y'all, you're very tired of this. You feel like you've been in a battle and you feel alone. And you're alone with your thoughts. But look, this is the break that you're going to need to get your strength back up. It takes a lot of time and energy to deal with toxic situations. It surely does. But once you get out of it, you know, you're going to have you're going to know who to trust, who to allow in your life, and you're going to be able to see the red flags. For some of y'all that haven't gotten out of a situation, and it is upsetting to you. Know that you do have the strength to persevere. I'm praying for y'all. And I, I know that you can do it. So, Gemini, that was your reading. Y'all like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. And I really appreciate y'all being here. And good luck, Gemini.